Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. The new KTB rods are dropping October 28th, so set it on your calendar, set your alarms, write it on down, and get ready because they're going to sell out fast. If you guys want to be notified about them, you can go on my website. There's going to be a little pop-up. You put your phone number in there, um, it'll pretty much notify you. I'll end up sending out a text like an hour before it happens, the day of, and 30 minutes before the drop, and right when the drop happens. But I'm pumped up about it, guys. I saw a lot of you got your rods, and everybody's been enjoying them, catching some big fish, so I'd love to see some more people get their own combo and uh, catch their PB bass on it. But today, we're actually golf course fishing. I got my boy Connor. We have not seen Connor on the channel in a few months now so it's good to be with connor today and we're going to be doing some bass fishing and uh see what we can get going so as far as the rods i'm using i got two kicking their bass combos out with me today one with braid one with fluoro the fluoro combo i just got a little texas rig on big worm and then this one i have a walking sexy dog right here by strike king if you guys want to get a discount on any of the baits that i use or any of the other loose combos other than the kicking their bass ones I have the links and discount codes down below. Well, let's go ahead and start casting and see if we can hook into a big one. So I think we're gonna start off with this topwater walking bait. I'd, I'd love to get on a topwater bite. I actually, we haven't got on any topwater fish in a good second. So if we can get on a killer topwater bite as the sun's coming down, it's gonna be prime. So let's go ahead and get it started. I also have a bone walking bait on. Um, when it comes to colors, when it's cloudy out like this, you know, you got a lot of clouds in the sky, not too much sun peeking through. I tend to go with like your bone and your whites. Um, that's what seems to catch the most fish as far as hookup ratio and them committing to the bait. So let's go ahead and start fan casting around, see what we can put together. So I see this fish and it keeps like boiling up under this tree. I can't really get a good accurate cast of this treble hook bait. What I'm gonna do is pick up this other rod that I have my slow moving bait on. A little tiny worm, or a pretty big worm actually. But it's a little Texas rig, extra wide gap, quarter ounce weight, three wide gap hook. Keeps seeing a lot of activity. Keep like boiling right here on this grass edge. We might be able to catch one real quick. Get us started. Oh, look at that boil, dog. Oh, that's a good one. That's a big one, boy. Let's go, baby. Start her off with a big one. Let's do it. <laughs> this sucker's fighting too, dog. Oh, that's a big girl. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Look at that right there. Oh, that's a nice bass. I wouldn't say quite four, but high three pounder right there. If he had a little bit more weight on him, a little bit fatter belly, it could be a four pound bass, but that's a freaking big in start the day with baby let's go that's a good fish right there on a big worm had to put up the top water cast her in there she ate man that's a good fish to start off the day with man. usually you think you start off with like a little one pounder but i will take a three pounder all day long thank you buddy there she goes give me some cody that was yeah. legit Guys, that is the first fish of the day. And we saw a few boils here. I wanna say there might be a couple other fish chilling under this tree. The only reason we walked right here because they're hitting golf balls and I didn't, one, I don't wanna be in people's ways and upset anybody. And two, I really don't wanna get hit in the head with a golf ball. So we're gonna hunt down this bank a little bit. See if we can flip over here and uh, maybe we can get another big one. Yeah. Look, there's another one on me. Right on me, yeah. Oh, dude. Oh, dude, that was a nice dude, he was he ran with it so hard, dog. Guys, I just missed second fish of the day. Pretty quick here. I like just roaming these banks, man. Let's see if we can get another one to bite. I 
really didn't get a hook in him that, that good. There he is. Oh. He just slammed it and never ate it. There we go, first top order bite today. Not a big one, but it's a bass. Look at that, little guy on a sexy dog. Gotta love it, baby, gotta love it. He ain't big, Connor, but any top water bite's fun, right? Yeah. Gotta absolutely. love it. He's been caught a few times, too. Look at his lip. Yeah. A little tore up. Thank you, buddy. First top water bass. Digging? Oh gosh. What you got, buddy? Oh, you got him a nice one. Fish, buddy. She had time I was burning it too. Yeah. Shot a couple missed it, but that one took it. There we go. Not too bad. Just burning the wake bait and he took it. Let's get the guy. Back to you. Nice. All right, guys. Taking a little bit of a different strategy, but I'm throwing a Strike King wake bait. But instead of fishing it on top, I'm just burning it as fast as I can. And we'll see if we can get some more, but we had that one and more to come. I'm gonna go cast along that grass. Oh, you see that, bro? Yeah. One just swam off the bank in front of me. Oh my gosh, that was a good one. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Second top water fish today, guys. Um, we walked down to the end of this pond. There's a lot of grass and I was like, man, let's go try to throw this walking bait along that grass. Probably get one to bite it, sure enough. Had that small guy bite it. <laughs> it. Seems like the top water is catching the smaller ones, but they're still fun to catch. There was also a big fish that swam off of that. And the reason I have my rod so bent up is because there was a lay down right there. I didn't want, want to get my treble hooks in it, but release this guy. Thank you, buddy. I'm a pretty dude. Third fish today for me. Thank you. Well, there we go, guys. We got. Two top, oh my gosh. Gotta love braid, <laughs> gotta love it. <laughs> That's a uh, second top water bass right now. Connor's throwing the top water, but he's technically, you know, burning it like a crankbait. And he's had a few really good ones swirl on it. I think that bait that he's throwing, it's like that striking wave bait, is enticing some of those bigger fish to get angry and eat that thing. But I won't keep on throwing this top water. I just wanna see if we can get a big one on it. Two fish that I have had in two bites have just been small. Not really what we're looking for, but I think if we get it in front of a big angry bass, he'll smoke it. Maybe a clip. We'll go over the other spot? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's um, do it. Let's stop at the pond in between them because nobody should be on that one. That's hole number five. That one's small, so we can fish that one quick. 
I have to tell you about the, the scary hissing noise. No. I was out fishing, and it's only like 12 foot across, and then it's all swamp. Yeah. And I cast over by the bank, and it's already like, I can barely see it. Yeah. And right when it hits the water, I just hear like the loudest hissing noise I've ever heard in my life. And I immediately reeled my... <laughs> you like totally I like, what? my in and ran home, and ran back to my car, dude. <laughs> You think it was a gator? I, don't, I think it was a snake, but I, I didn't know they were that loud. Gators hiss too. Probably, yeah. probably was a gator. That's why there's gators here. Is that swamp? Oh yeah, yeah. Right down the pipe. Yeah. Right there. Oh, I just hit one of my line. Did you see that? Was, oh, oh. He's up. That looks like a small. One. Made me go into poopy position. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's another one under there. Right where you pulled out of. Dude, should I throw that worm? Is that worm a better guy? You need a new worm on there, honestly. Life goes onion, onion, onion. Oh my god, there's a monster. Cody. Massive. Like, this might be a... Oh, he twirled on me. Like, that's a 10-pounder, Cody. I ain't... He's either a carp or a freaking 10 pounder. Yeah, he's gone. He kind of turned on me like a bass. So this actually connects to the big pond too, so I know there's... Dog, I just saw one about the size of a 10 pounder, or it was a carp right there, yeah. He's huge. Oh, oh gosh, dude, he's got a tank. Connor's got him a tank. What is that? <gasps> oh, that was like a six pounder, dude. I saw him right there. Oh, dude, you had him on the bank. I saw him right there. He was running right towards the bank. Dude, that was a tank. He ran up onto the bank and then he slipped back in. Dude, he hit it so softly. That was a big end. He had a moose on for sure. I, I didn't see the fish the whole time. Like you could tell he was big by the boils, but he had legs. <laughs> dude, that fish was running, dog. He was running. He was running a marathon. And uh right when Connor about got him by the bank, see the fish was running towards the bank. That's when I saw him, dude. That fish was like six pounder. Oh dude, no, no, no. No, 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 not till they What is going on here, dog? <laughs> I think they just have like the, the little tail on the worm. This little pecking at it. Right there. Uh oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Cody, don't even laugh. <laughs> I know you're grinning behind that camera. I don't know. I was thinking they're little pecker heads. Let's try it one more time. So <laughs> They're so small, dude. What are these things? How you how does Connor hook like a freaking tank and then I'm over here? Cody, I'll tell you what, that would have been a great video, but no, it wouldn't actually come fish again. <laughs> I mean <laughs> No bigger than that worm. They're over there though, they're stacked on that wood. Alright boys, we just got to the big pond that we've been wanting to fish. We're gonna see what we can do here, man. Oh my gosh, Connor. Biggins, dude. I just spooked him. That was two big big fish on that bank. And they just swam off. Oh man. Okay. We might be in the in the honey hole right here, boys. Connor said he's caught he caught a big one here recently. I just threw right up on that little sandbar there and all of a sudden two big bass just spooked right off that bank. I think we'll get a bit here any minute though. There's fish in the area, bait in the area. I think I need to be casting like, yeah, there's some that are up shallow today. Like we've definitely seen that, but I have a feeling if we're gonna get on a good bite, I need to be on that drop off. About where I just casted, we should get slammed. Just saw a few swirls. Oh gosh, Connor's got him. Burning it. Same Just thing. It. Yeah. 
my god! Oh my right, god! Go oh my god! Dude, Dude, that literally just hit in between y'all. You understand that, right? I wish my GoPro would have saw that. That literally landed right in between y'all. I'm not gonna lie, I'm more impressed that he took that far. I'm more impressed that he warned us. I didn't know what direction to move, so I, I heard him. Still. I heard him, and at first I was like, there's no way he just hit it that far. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that landed in between both of y'all. That was impressive, honestly. All right, so I hooked up with this, and I called for Noah, and then I landed on the bank, and this guy's yelling across the pond super far away. He's like, four. There's no way anybody can hit that far, and he almost is <laughs> two foot away from us. It's crazy. Dude, it landed that was right close. In it was very close. Yeah. All right. You guys ready for another golf ball hit? I'm watching it this time. Yeah, we'll probably get hit right here for sure. Oh, I got a fish. This is not big. Not since his hay is not big, it's supposed to be like... Oh, oh it's a big one, guys, it's a big one. Oh, it's not as big as that. Oh, man, it's a one-pounder. Man, I thought he was nine. <laughs> I had a couple good bites today, but rather than that, I've been catching some squeaks. Connor's, you know, throwing that weight bait, kind of like a crankbait, burning it, creating that reaction bite, and I think that's those bigger ones are eating that. I just want to see him catch one over five because he had that one on. Yeah. I mean, we've had some other big fish follow it in and like, I don't know. Some good natural hand wiping material, Cody. You didn't know that? Come on now. Get your notepads out. Hey. Oh, Connor got another one. Oh, he's a big, oh, 10 pounder. Watch out for them golf balls. I'm serious, bro. No, you're good, man. Like, <laughs> you're good. You're good. I was more impressed that you hit it that far, honestly. I mean, we're the ones out here, man. You guys are doing your thing. So, are you taking them back? Yeah, man. That's good. Yeah, of course. What's your name, man? Dude, it was right in between them. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Dude, I said, oh, shit, that's all, man. That's probably all. No, it was funny. It's nice out here right now, man. It's better than it being 100 degrees, blazing heat. You got your big one? Oh yeah, I see that boil. Oh, he came off. What, what's going on? I don't know. You've lost like three big ones, dude. I know. That's what they were saying. They're like some big ones right here. I guess we'll see. Oh gosh, that was a huge one, Cody, right there. He just darted off. Biggin? Uh. Gosh, guys. There's a big one in here, but I, oh, there's another one. Oh my God. I don't need to throw this top water anymore. There's spooking from it. One more time. Cody has had two big ones. Yeah, I'm gonna have to throw that worm and kind of finesse them, dude. Going. They're big, there's big ones in here. Yeah. They're just kind of scared of this top water right now. I might need to adapt through this worm, give it a shot. Yeah, oh, he's a little bloody. Oh yeah. Wish you got him in the gill a little bit. We'll get him back in the water. But same thing, just burning it through and they're going after it. Nice. Good job. Oh! 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 Dude, that was that big fish, bro. That was that megalodon of a bass. That boil was crazy. That's the one that hit a second ago. Yeah. Oh my gosh, he freaking almost slaunched me, dude. I don't know why he didn't eat it. That was wild. Dang, dude. That was a big boy, guys. Ah. He just didn't give me the opportunity to hook him, you know, he never ate it, just kind of rolled. There's a bunch of stuff on the bottom out of there. I haven't really felt anything while fishing this place other than 
these little sandbars that go out and kind of drop off but that was some like hard cover that was something out there His line broke. Yeah, I guess, uh, did it really? Hand reel it in, dude. What if you catch one on your hand? <laughs> work it like, dude, work it. Rip it. Oh, He's gonna catch that one. That sick. Please catch one. No. <laughs> well, guys, I just broke off my worm and that was the last one I had. And the sun's going down, so I think we're gonna close this one out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We wanted to come out, do some golf course fishing. Haven't done that in a minute and I know you guys enjoy it. So hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button. Thank you for coming out, Connor. Absolutely. Appreciate having you on Thank the show, you. man. Thank and you for uh, coming out. he's actually filming with us tomorrow too. We're going back out. We're doing some something special tomorrow morning. I'm not gonna spoil it, but make sure you have those post notifications turned on. Make sure you're subscribed. We have some banging content coming up. I appreciate the love and support. And I'll catch you all in the next video.